All right, my peeps, so we got some new Destruction All-Stars news that might indicate that there's more to the recent announcement that Destruction All-Stars would be delayed than just PlayStation wanting as many players as possible playing the game. Now, of course, they want that, but it looks like some modes maybe weren't ready yet. So let's get into it. First off, for those of you not up to date, it was recently announced that Destruction All-Stars would, number one, get delayed, so it's no longer a PS5 launch title. Instead, it's coming out in February, and it's going to be available for free for PlayStation Plus subscribers for a whole two months. That's great. I think that's actually a first, a game being free for a whole two months. But anyways, PlayStation said the reason why they did that is so as many people as possible could play this game. Obviously, giving it for free to all the PS Plus subscribers, especially for two months, is going to make the player base a lot bigger than if they would have stuck with the original plan of selling this game for 70 bucks at launch. Because, you know, in case you've been living under a rock, people like me and others who were willing to pay 70 bucks for this we're kind of in the minority most people were like yo this game does look fun but i'm not about to pay 70 bucks for this so to make it free for ps plus subscribers good move by sony but is more people playing the game the only reason why this was delayed i don't think so especially after this update so here's the deal playstation just updated the destruction all-stars page after the delay to reflect the new release date as well as switch out a few of the screenshots now at quick glance you think oh it's just the screenshots that's the only difference in the release date but no if you take a closer look Look, and if you've seen the original page, they've made a change, a pretty big change when it comes to the online or the online modes or lack of. So here's the new description of the Destruction All-Stars multiplayer. It says, wreck your friends, accelerate the drama and enter 16 player online matches with your friends. Jump into a casual quick play session and experience new limited time rule twists in special events. Now, if this is the first time you see this page, you wouldn't know the difference. You think all is fine and dandy, hey, 16 player matches, casual play sessions, blah, blah, blah. But if you've been keeping up with the news, which by the way, I posted up all the news about this game, at Destruction All Stars News playlist in the description box, check it out. I reported on the original page a while back, and this is the original description of the multiplayer modes. Accelerate the drama and enter 16 player online matches with your friends. Jump into a casual quick play session, earn XP in skill based rank matches, outshine everyone in multiple match day games, avenge previous losses in persistent rivals, and experience new limited time rule twists in special events. You see the difference? If you don't, I'll show it on the screen right now, both side by side. They removed all mentions of rank matches, Nani? the match day games, and the persistent rivals mode, which would allow you to avenge your losses against people online. And this change only came after PlayStation announced that the game would be delayed and made free on PlayStation Plus in February. So why would they remove the mention of some modes that they already had on there before? It makes no sense, unless of course these modes as of right now are no longer going to be in the game at launch in February. And this to me seems to shed a little bit more light as to why the game was delayed not just because we want as many players playing it but also maybe because some things weren't ready keep in mind this game was supposed to launch with the ps5 at 70 bucks so it was already a hard sell because people hadn't seen much footage of the game we don't have time to play a full match today which was really odd especially this close to release or the original release and it was going for 70 bucks the same price as some of the other top games at launch now imagine if on top of that they didn't have a ranked mode or some of the other modes that the original description talked about it would get even more flack especially as a multiplayer focused game how can a multiplayer focused game not have a ranked mode and such so what i think is the case and this is purely speculation on my part is that those online modes possibly weren't polished enough or weren't where they wanted them to be but they were going to include them anyways because yo it's a 70 buck game we kind of had to justify the price a little bit and how could we launch a multiplayer game without those modes especially if it's 70 bucks and they were likely going to update them and improve them with future updates as they said with that initial blog post that we talked about in the video but luckily upon seeing the feedback and discussion with playstation and whatever they decided to delay the game to give it a little bit more time make it free so more people can play it and give it a better chance to succeed and now that it'd be free for playstation plus they can kind of justify not having these modes if they're not ready yet and then adding them in with a future update once they're ready because keep in mind in that original blog post they did say that updates would bring in new modes so it does seem like as of right now with the destruction all-stars launch in February, there is going to be no ranked matches, no match day games, and no persistent rivals. Otherwise, it just wouldn't make sense to remove that mention. It's not like it was put there on accident. That was on there for a long time, for weeks and weeks. And also in quick news, starting today on PS4, Destruction All-Stars avatars are going to be available.